Hey what's up everyone this is Ray from iPhoneRepair.com and this is how to downgrade your iPhone 3GS and iPhone 4 firmware. First you want to make sure your blobs are saved in Cydia. You can do this by accessing Cydia on your mobile on your iPhone device. The next thing you want to do is you want to go and edit your host file. You want to right click on host, select run as administrator, hit file, select open, and then you want to go to C Windows System 32 driver slash etc. And then you want to make sure you change it from uh, text documents to all files. And then double click on the host file. Once you double click the host file, you want to add the string that you see here on the bottom. The next thing you will then do is you will go online and go to uh, www.felixbruns.de slash iPod slash firmware and download the iPhone 4.0 or 4.0.1 firmware. Now when you save the firmware you want to make sure that it saves as uh, IPSW file not a zip file and here uh, you can see that this is my iPhone 4 so this is not uh, iPhone 3G as the previous video showed this is an actual iPhone 4 uh, I don't have a 3GS to show you so I just use my iPhone 4 alright so the next thing we're gonna do is you wanna make sure your device is connected to the computer but make sure it's off we will need to put the device in DFU mode so you press and hold the power button once it starts to come on, you hold the home key while holding the power button. After about 10 seconds, release the home key. Pardon me, you release the power key, continue to hold the home key. Keep holding the home key for about 30 seconds until you hear your computer make a dinging sound. And then once you hear that and your screen is black, you are in DFU mode. Next, you want to go to iTunes and you want to click Shift and Restore and then you want to go find the IPSW file or firmware that you saved to your computer and select open once you do that you'll see that the uh, iTunes will try to connect to the Apple server or in this case uh, Cydia server to verify the firmware you'll see the screen of your iPhone flicker and then you'll see the Apple logo followed by a bar underneath the Apple logo as you can see now the computer is waiting to communicate with the iPhone and there you can see it connected and you can see the bar and pretty much from here it's just a matter of waiting and letting iTunes do its thing so iTunes will go ahead and, and restore the firmware onto the iPhone 4. Uh, now today is September 1st and you guys probably all have heard that uh, iTunes 10 has been released. I would suggest that you do not upgrade to that version of iTunes if you want to downgrade your firmware. Uh, I would say do not do that until the dev team or dev team, however you want to pronounce it, has said it's okay because we don't know how that's going to affect downgrading firmware. There may be something Apple did with iTunes 10 that may prevent you from downgrading your firmware. So I would stay away from it for now and just stick with 9.2 if that's what you have. And the other thing that we're going to show you too is that a lot of people were having problems with Rec Boot uh, on the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4. iReb is for the older devices like the iPod Touch and the iPhone 3G and Rec Boot requires a specific DLL file in order for you to kick your 3GS and iPhone 4 out of recovery mode and a lot of people were having problems with that some people weren't reading the readme files and they weren't setting it up correctly so there's actually a really nice tool that I've talked about a lot that uh, will kick the device out of recovery mode I had not attempted to use it until this particular video and you can see that it's moving right along uh, the other things I 
did want to mention to you guys too is that I do appreciate the comments that you guys leave. Um, I do get a little bit irritated when the comments make no sense. So, I mean, you guys need to remember remember that I'm not getting paid to do this. I'm doing this to help everybody out. So, if you have a question, please uh, be detailed with it. You know what the problem is, what the error is, what iTunes you have, what operating system you're running. Be as specific as possible, and I'll try to return a comment to you as soon as I can. As you can see, I am very prompt at returning uh, comments for people who have questions, but I'm also easy to get irritated if you ask me a stupid question. Oh, I apologize. That's my screen capture software. Let me get that off. All right, so we're moving right along, and here we go. There's the error. Uh, 1003. Could not restore for an un due to unknown error. 1003. Like I said, that's a good thing. That means the firmware was actually installed but the device is just in recovery mode. Uh, the explanation I got from the dev team is that uh, it's because the modem firmware is not recognized by iTunes so that's why it gives the error. Now here's the program we was talking about uh, on Tiny Umbrella. I've talked about it a lot. Uh, you can back up your SHSH blobs to Cydia using this but you'll also notice up there uh, near the upper right corner it says kick device out of recovery. Now I had seen that before but I've never never actually had my device in recovery mode to see if it did anything. Well, in this case, it, it did. So we're going to go ahead and select to kick the, the device out of recovery mode. And we'll show you what happens. All right, so it's in recovery mode. We selected it. and there we go it's out of recovery mode and it should boot up now if it's successful it will give you the connect to iTunes screen however it'll have the different languages that are going across the screen which means that it's just waiting for activation with iTunes so you'll see the bar go, go across the screen and then in iTunes you should see that it should connect to the iTunes store and you'll see a little progress bar while it activates so there we are it's waiting for activation and here you see that it's accessing iTunes store And there we go. It's asking if I want to set it up as a new iPhone. And as you can see on the iPhone screen, it says the iPhone is activated. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And we're going to go into settings if I can find it. Yeah, there it is. All right. And then you want to go to general and about. And then you'll see, and it may be hard to, hard to see because of the camera. I apologize. But uh, it is 4.0.1. So now you're free to go to jailbreakme.com on your iPhone and go ahead and install the jailbreak uh, once you install the jailbreak of course you do want to go in Cydia and you want to uh, install the PDF patch to close the security hole that is exposed by 4.0.1 and previous uh, iOS firmware versions so hopefully this helps you guys out um, if not please leave me a message like I said uh, with details on what your error is what the problem is and I'll do the very best I can to assist you and to get back to you as quickly as possible uh, again please rate comment and subscribe to our videos also please visit our website at www.iphonerepair.com uh, there's a lot of great information there we have uh, we do repairs we also uh, have a forum and a blog uh, so it's an up-and-coming site and anything you guys can do to help us get exposure is definitely appreciated. This is Ray from iPhone Repair. Thank you very much.